All of these people in my life acting berserk I'm feeling all pissed off and hurt I need to know if I am the jerk Oh, am I the jerk? Oh. Are you the jerk or is the other person the jerk? If you don't know for sure, let us know Because we have no problem telling you We got several emails here This one said, am I the jerk for blocking my girlfriend's trip to Mexico? It says in the email, my girlfriend wants to go on a weekend getaway to Mexico With this really hot guy I don't really know him, but she swears that this guy is gay, so I have absolutely nothing to worry about. I didn't think I was insecure, but something about this just doesn't feel right. I'd look jealous if I said that I'm not cool with her going, right? In truth, I guess maybe I am. How should I play this? So the the guy she's going with is definitely gay? That's what she says. She says he's definitely gay, but didn't really know this guy. He says he doesn't know if the guy's gay or not, and he says he's really hot. Really good looking guy. She's like, come on, really? He's a guy. We're going to be fine. I mean, if he's really gay, then, I mean, Panda would never have been upset if you would have gone on a road trip. He wouldn't have been suspicious with one of your gay friends. No. But I think the only way you could find out if he's really gay is hit on him at the gym. Okay. You got to investigate. Okay. You need to go in there and put in the work. And then when he (laughs) sees a photo of you two together, he's going, why was your boyfriend hitting on me at the gym (laughs) he had to make sure you were really gay (laughs) he did the work (laughs) so you don't see any red flags you don't have a problem with this all you have to do is just uh say that you're gay and there's full belief in that now if someone's lying about it and they've got you know they're trying to get with my girl that's a different story but i i don't I mean, how am I going to know that? She know, she's, she's lying, too, then. She knows. I'd be more scared of Mexico than a gay guy. I mean, Mexico is mm. kind of dangerous right now, oh, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Like, yeah, ooh, it is. just be careful. You should, you should meet him, though, if you've never met him before. I can't tell if he has met him or not. It doesn't sound like he's very familiar with him, and I don't think you're going too far to just say, hey, I'd really like to meet him and kind of push that issue. And then if she gets weird and squirrely about you meeting him, then... Yeah, I would probably have higher suspicions about this trip. But if and I, how long has he been dating this girl, too? you got to be careful about, like, telling her what she can do, where she can go, who she can be with, if you've only been dating her for a couple months. Because if I was dating somebody for six months and I'd never met her, let, let's say she has a gay best friend, I'd never met him before, yeah. and she's going to go on some trip with him that they had planned, I would be okay with that because I'm not, I'm not threatened. I, 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 I would trust her because we're in a relationship. If she's telling me that he's gay then I'm going to trust her. I mean, you usually want to stay in a relationship with people you trust. If I'm not trusting my girlfriend, I'm not going to be in a relationship with her. Yeah, sometimes you've got to just give them a chance. Sure, uh, you can't block people from doing everything, and you got to build that trust, and this is the way that you do it. Now, if things go haywire and it seems like other weird things come out of this or you see things posted on social media where they're making out. Yes. <laughs> now we know. And you might be like, oh, that's just odd. But yeah. if, if I like somebody and we're, we're, we're it, everything's going good and she's being, I think she's being honest with me, I'm going to take her word unless she gives me a reason not to. In this arena, does a gay guy get full access that any of your girlfriends would have? Let's say, for instance, Virginia, you'd be okay with one of your friends doing, your girlfriends doing a shot out of your belly button. Does your gay friend get also the same right, even though you are in a committed relationship? Yes. Your gay male friend has all the same benefits and perks of a female friend. Okay. And so if that were one, you could do that. Now, um, do you ever kiss a female friend on the lips or anything like that, like doing a shot together from either side? Would that also be permitted? I have. I think it's more permissible to kiss your female friend than your male friend. Okay, because I'm just curious about, let's say that in a week we get uh, these emails saying, well, when they were in Mexico, I saw (laughs) photos of them doing body shots off of her and at one point they were kissing but she does that with her girlfriends too it's cool right look if if she is fluid and everybody knows she's fluid then Mm -hmm. that's just the way she is but she needs to disclose that if she is attracted to men and then you see her making out with a guy even if 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 she says he's gay it doesn't matter like that's Mm. cheating Okay. All you don't right. you don't make out with your gay best friend, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, if you're in a relationship, <laughs> there's certain things you just don't do anyway. You don't do it with a girl either. So at this point, he should not throw up any barriers or obstruction to her trip to Mexico with her gay friend. I don't think he has any right to. Okay. But 
this shouldn't stop him from doing a little side work, a little investigation into who this guy is. Who is this guy? Mm-hmm. Is he gay? Where does he work out? Where does he yeah. go? Where, what does he do on the weekend? Is he on Grinder? Can you hit him up? Okay. All right. Uh, right now, figure saying. out if he's really gay. Mm-hmm. I would be very curious I, because you've never met him. Yeah, I mean, try to try to meet him. I just, you know, if someone doesn't give me a reason, if, I, if I'm with somebody that's not cheating or I don't feel like they're a cheater, I'm gonna trust them. Okay, you're gonna trust him. Yeah, I would. Okay. All right. So yeah, at this point, it seems like the verdict is: don't do anything, just chill. Let her go on this trip. Don't give her any hassles and but see say where it goes. You'd love to meet him sometime. Okay. This person wants to know if they're the jerk for eating the toppings off their boyfriend's pizza. Since earlier tonight, I ordered a Hawaiian pizza with my boyfriend. We've only been dating a month, so it's the first time that I ate pizza with him. We only finished about half, and then we went to watch TV. I was still hungry, so I ate all the toppings off the pizza. When he saw, he absolutely flipped out. He said that he was saving that for lunch tomorrow and that he had never met anybody who would do anything like this and was just generally really upset. I thought he was joking and I laughed it off, but it's been a couple hours and he's still upset. Is he overreacting or was I a total jerk? We have to talk to a real pizza expert for this one. Jay Bird? I don't know, man. This is a, I think they're both annoying, first of all. Okay. I, I don't think it's ever cool to take someone's toppings off of a pizza. That's a no-no. But I also think, dude, lighten up. Well, don't lose your mind either. On your girl. Man, they're both annoying. Gosh. Is she a jerk, though? Is that? I think it's annoying when people start picking off toppings. And, and then, it's a Hawaiian well, pizza, it's, too. If it's, if it's going to be pizza that everyone's going to be eating, picking right. it off of you know something that's universal isn't the coolest move. You do cancel out a slice when you eat the toppings off of it and just leave whatever mess you leave behind. It's not like you ate one pepperoni. You ate the toppings off a Hawaiian pizza. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I would See, I would advise against that move. To you're you're kind of wasting food, I think, at that point, right? Is that fair to say? You shouldn't pick off. Look, if you're gonna pick off something off a of pizza, you eat the, you eat that slice, right? You just yeah. don't pick up. That, that's, right. that's that's pizza one hundred and one etiquette. Eat if the I, slice. If I went back to get pizza and all the toppings have been eaten off, I'm less than pumped to eat that pizza now. Yeah, well, you don't know where people, trust me, I've got stories I can't even tell on the air of people that were picking stuff off of a pizza and the yep. things they were doing prior <laughs> to picking off things off the yeah. pizza. And y'all know that story behind the scenes and we I can't do. tell it. I love that so story. So you get why I, I have my stand. You bring baggage, but <clears throat> it's understandable because we know the story. Well, not everyone keeps their hands clean. Yeah. And you're picking all over. That it just ain't cool. Come on. That it's like cool. the same person that eats all of the marshmallows out of the Lucky Charms. And then you go to eat Lucky Charms and it's nothing but them gross oats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if you got any thoughts, you can always hit us up. 877-979-WRMF or send us an email. Mail at kvjshow.com.